Y'all ready? Y'all ready to meet Clive Rossfield? Neophyte adventurer seeks the warrior of light. That's it. A land on fire. And we have Yoshi P's uh, little stand-in right here. All right, let's do this. F forgive me my boldness, but are you are Lee May, are you not? Am I Lee May? No. Yes. Then my search is at an end. A begoggled gentleman tasked me to find you, you see, in hopes of entreating your aid with some matter he deigned not to share with me. Pray remain here, and I shall fetch him at once. All right. I'm waiting, I'm waiting. Look how cool I am. <laughs> Greetings, champion. Oh, hi, Yushi P. The Wandering Minstrel. Minstrel. I've never actually pronounced that out loud before. Tis I who employed the young adventurer to facilitate this impromptu audience. As for the why, I request that you and you alone can fulfill. Play listened well, for my tales begin with a most unsettling dream. Oh no. We're going back into the dreamscape. In it did I behold the evening sky, boundless and shimmering. As I drank the deep of its beauty, I spy two stars sailing across the inky expanse, one of purest white, the other blushing scarlet, their courses set such that they might pass without collision. Sharply and suddenly, the scarlet star shifted its trajectory. High above a burning landscape did its path intersect with that of a white star, their conjunction marked by a brilliant explosion of light. Even in slumber, I was awestruck by the spectacle. I don't know if I want to try to do this with an, with an accent. Um, a lovely tale, but I fail to see what this has to do with me. I don't want to be mean to Yoshi P. I appreciate that there is a mean option though. But what does it all mean? Tell me! Truth be told, my own in interpretation wavers. My rational mind says meaningless dream, whilst my artist soul insists on prophecy. Ah, your prophecy is you're gonna have a dog mount in a few hours. Whatever greater meaning this vision might hold, I am convinced that the blazing white star represents the warrior of light. In other words, you, my friend. You're my friend. And should these portents indeed foretell future events, you are thus fated to encounter the Scarlet Star, whomsoever they may be. I therefore humbly request that you accompany me to the burning land from my dream, that I might witness the vision's denou denouement. I will compensate you for the trouble, of course. Hell yeah, money! Or dog mount, that's fine too. Question is, which territory in Eorza might be considered burning, metaphorically or otherwise? I mean, probably Ulda. I'm pretty sure it's this one right here. I don't know, in this game, I tend to pick the more serious answers, unless it's like irresistible. A place rich in corrupt crystal deposits? That one's not even fun. I'm gonna just pick the Bowl of Embers. The Bowl of Embers where I battled Ifrit? While its relation to flame cannot be denied, my instincts tell me nay. Oh! What? My instincts say yay! Uh, the scene from my dream was more ridge than bowl. A giant flickering outcrop of crystal, mayhap? Of course! Alright, tell me where it's at. Oh, so I just got a... The burning wall in eastern Thanalan? Aye, that cluster of immense crystals born of the seventh umbral of calamity. Aye, it well resembles the sweeping scene from my dream. Well, why didn't you just say that first? Why'd you make me guess? <laughs> the first mystery is solved. We shall leave for Eastern Thanalan and the infamous Burning Wall at once. Oh, look at that, look at that. I am looking forward to the graphical upgrade or graphical update that this game is gonna get. It's gonna be one of those things that it looks all good with their like their trailers and previews, but like we're not gonna really feel it until we get that update in the summer. 
I'm setting my expectations not too high, but I, f I don't know. I feel like it's going to blow people away. Like, it's going to be like, yes, this game no longer feels like it's 10 years old. Now it feels like it's five years old now. <laughs> What's up, man? Are we here? We're going to do this quest in the daytime. I was going to say, don't set them too high for an MMORPG. All right, let's talk to Yoshi P. The Burning Wall, an apt name indeed. It is said that these crystalline structures were formed when falling shards of Dalamut pierced the land's ethereal current. Okay, I can do this, I can do this, guys. Some see them as a symbol of rebirth, manifestation of renewed life. But that is neither here nor there. Let's have a look around, shall we? Spyglass is at the ready. All right, what am I looking at? Over here. It's loading, it's loading. Why does it have sus such suspicious uh, music? <laughs> this is such a silly mechanic to that they added to the game. Clive, where are you, Clive? Quit playing games. Watch, he's gonna be like on the floor dead or something. Or like asleep. Oh! He is! Oh no! <laughs> what the f? <laughs> Climb no! <laughs> For a second, I thought this. Uh, th he looks just like freaking Joshua. I was saying, me, me, me! Look! Oh wait, that's the Hideaway soundtrack. Nice. It must have been hard getting that permission uh, to use uh, Final Fantasy 16 music in Final Fantasy 14, right? Ugh. Oh no. This is the start of my Ben Star uh, uh, impression. He breathes! Oh, and this was when he still had his... So this is pre-time skip in Final Fantasy 16. Where am I? Alright, no, I, I could do a Ben Star. I could do a Ben Star. Alright, alright. Where am I? No, okay. He has... Uh, oh, I gotta work on it. I'm gonna work. What? What's going on? You alright there, buddy? I put the I put the background music up on purpose. A dream led you to me. Understand how absurd it may sound. We ourselves are unsure what awaited us here. As for who you who we are, I am content to be known as the minstrel. The stalwart hero is Li Mei. Might we have the pleasure of your name? Clive, the last thing I remember was the ruins. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to keep that up the ent this entire event. Look how look how nice he looks. This is the graph. Is this what we're looking we're looking forward to, right? In the graphical update. <laughs> Clive says. Oh yeah, even even this right here, this nice pixelated uh, armor. My head. Where? How did I come to be in this place? It would seem you were knocked senseless. Confusion is to be expected. For safety's sake, I suggest we make we make for town and have a a pro a pronistery, pronis, prontister, prontistery, prontistery physician. What the f is a prontistory? Uh, sorry, chat. Give me one second. A place of for thinking or study. <laughs> it's like his pores or pixels, right? <laughs> so not a real position, but a one that's learning. <laughs> I shall see our patient receives proper treatment. Would you mind waiting uh, for us at Scholar's Walk? Wait, we're gonna go back to Charlian? Keep it together, Clive. 
Tell it to me straight, Doc. Our foundling's being cared for as we speak, but I'm told he should be really soon. Hopefully, t twas not that a bite of food and a little bed rest couldn't cure. All right, Yoshi P. I don't know why I gave you an English accent. Maybe, what kind of accent would I give? There it is. More Final Fantasy 16 music. <laughs> Made. <laughs> it's uh, it's Soken. Soken gets to play his music from both his games in one game. <laughs> it was kind of you to wait. Thank you. It's hard to. I feel like Clive's voice is always gonna be like that undertone until he starts screaming. What of what of your condition? Much approved. The the physiker, the physiker, also noted no signs of injury or illness. Look at that. I want to take like a screenshot and and compare it to like the original. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good for Final Fantasy XIV standards. Yet, my memories remain hazy. How did I end up here? Whatever I was, whatever I was doing, it was important. I'm sure of it. I must return as soon as possible. I see. We cannot leave him in this state. We must help him restore his memories and find his way home. Yeah, just like Noctis. What of this city, Clive? Do any parts of Old Dust strike you as familiar? Hmm. Thinking, thinking. No. Maybe you have simply forgotten. But I recognize nothing. Hmm. Not Old Old Dawn. Not olden. Hmm. Then. Still, I should like to think that the sights and sounds of a well-known locale will hasten your recovery. The burning wall, the place where we found you, is situated midway betwixt Olda and Gridania. Perhaps a trip to the Twelvewood is in order. Gridania, you say? The name rings no bells, but I have no better s suggestions. All right. And would you take me there? Yeah, I got you, bruh. Meanwhile, oh wait, it's he's talking. Meanwhile, I'll make the rounds of the neighboring settlements and ask if at any uh, have heard of you. Let us rendezvous in Gridania anon. Oh my gosh, my accent's falling apart. <laughs> Clive, Clive, Clive. <laughs> wow. How come he gets to be taller? Let's talk to you. This entire situation has me knocked off balance, I'm afraid. I feel like leather boots would throw some stuff off. Hmm. I suppose. But like, the last time we wore... Like, this is... Like, super medieval. When when you have plates like that over the over the feet, you know? I always feel that, that kind of... That throwback is... That goes way too bad. Lee, was it? I appreciate you coming to my rescue. Still, you must have your own business to attend to. Yeah, I have a lot of dailies to do, Clive. Uh, so if you could just give me your dog, everything would be uh, great. <laughs> we could set off whenever you're ready. Look, he has a little, <laughs> he has a little icon. All right, next quest. Clive is ready to, oh, Clive is ready to travel to Gridania. Cool. Are we ready? Then let's head out. Oh my gosh. Discredania, the minstrel mention. Is it far? Well, we need mounts. Yeah. We travel via crystal. You... By airship, you have those. Not that I mean to doubt you, friend. If you say we're boarding an airship, then that's, that's what we'll do. They don't have airships in 16. All they had was fancy boats. Lee, if I may ask a foolish question. Do, do these airships of yours actually fly? A foolish question indeed, then. Your expression tells me as much. 
I feel like I would probably ask this one right here. Is there aren't like I mean it's pretty clear that he's from somewhere else. So first time traveling an airship, I'll just say, is there no is there no airship travel where you're from? So it would seem. It's odd. I know that the weapon in my back is called a sword. I understand that's what it's for and how to wield it. Foggy as my memories may be, my general knowledge seems intact. <laughs> Convenient. Yet hearing you speak of functional airships, I felt confusion, disbelief. For something that you clearly think of as commonplace. I. I I need to like listen to Ben Star for a second. I am just completely just going off memory and it's it is whack. <laughs> I can I can make no sense of it. Where was I before now? Ah, but dwelling on it is pointless. Forward is the only way. Forward. Forward is the only way. All right, Clive, let's talk. To feel that bracing wind, the deck shuddering beneath your feet as you rise into the sky. My memory might be faulty. That was an experience I'm sure I'd not soon forget. Okay, Clyde. So this is Gridania. Seems very un unlike the city we just left. Where to begin? I think it best if I follow your lead. Clive is now accompanying you. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Clive. Let me show you around. This is my, uh... My old, my old stomping grounds, you see? This tavern reminds me of somewhere I've been before. Hmm, he's thinking. No, it's no use. I can feel the memory, but it's like grasping at smoke. But maybe if we were, if you were to show me somewhere else. All right. I'm, I'm walking uh, through a, a main city. So far, there aren't any sussy, um, Outfits, if you know what I mean. A chocobo? No, that's something I recognize. Yet it's more than that. I had a, my own chocobo once, I'm sure of it. But as for when or where... Hmm... I, I'm curious if they're going to explore, like, when exactly in the Final Fantasy 16 game he would come over here. Because I'm trying to pinpoint that right now. It's definitely post time skip when he gets his new outfit. At that point, he has already like, uh, like reunited with Jill. But the side quest where you get your chocobo, that's like not really defined. It's a side quest, so you can do it whenever. But it would be around that time. So does he have that chocobo yet? I guess we'll see. Anyways, let's keep, let's press on. An impressive crystal. Not a mother crystal, surely. No, not nearly large enough. Oh, when I try to remember, the fog in my head almost seems to grow thicker. No, leave the crystals alone. These are good crystals. We need these. I take a lot of screenshots. Don't judge me. <laughs> This is truly a beautiful place. That's right. In his world, like, vegetation is, like, drying up because the, I don't know, the blight on the world. Final Fantasy 16 story is coming back to me slowly. <laughs> yeah, we got, we're, we're, we're big chilling over here in Eorzea. You've taken a liking to Gridania then. I do like what I've seen of it. Seems a peaceful life here among the trees. Only... Uh, I just can't shake the strangest feeling. As if it's too peaceful. And that doesn't sit right. <laughs> Patrol reporting, Commander! All is quiet with the Exal! No sightings of Gar Garuda! <laughs> I say Garuda. Oh, Garuda! Is this floor right here? For which we are profoundly grateful. At ease, soldier. Hey, look at these twin serpent ass looking guys. Did he say Garuda? 
Oh, oh, he's gonna fight. Oh, oh no! Clive, no! <laughs> you there! Gar that, this Garuda you speak of! Oh, hung! Hung! <laughs> You're right, mate. Sir, are you alright? Everyone is Clive. That, I can only do one voice now. I'm not gonna try to do different voices. <laughs> Lee! Do you know this gentleman? Yeah, yeah, kind of. Memory loss, you say? Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Though it seems Garuda's name has a, has lit a spark of some sort. I was in battle with Garuda. Okay, okay, okay. So he fought her, fought her already. That no, that makes sense. This was pre time skip. I fought her. I'm sure of it. Please, you must tell me more. Anything, anything that might help me remember my past. Uh, of course. Gordania owes a debt of gratitude to whomever, whomever stood against that destructive fiend. However, there is one more suited to the task than I. Our elder seed seer is well versed in not only primal lore, but also in the treatment of bodily afflictions. She is surely your best hope for recovery. Hmm. I'll send word ahead to still Glade Fane. Stand ready to escort our guest to an audience. Understood, Commander. Pray, find me at Nofika's altar in Old Gridania, and I will see that you are granted entry to the Lotus Stand. Ah. The... The dialogue in this game has never been the type to roll off the tongue very easily. The way back to what I've lost begins with Garuda. Of that I feel certain. Alright, let us in. The Lotus Stand... The, lo the Lotus Stand. Alright, uh, let's give him this voice. The Lotus Stand lies just ahead. If you would follow me, please. Oh, it's nice weather. Greetings, honored guests! Oh, more Final Fantasy 16 tracks! Look at how she walks. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> Connie Senna. Hulo? Hulo. Commander, Commander Hulo has apprised me of your friend's condition. Is this he? Yes. Seed, seed seer. A pleasure to meet you. I am Connie Senna, elder seed seer of Gridania. I'm in charge of this joint. I thank you. I thank you for your gracious. Uh, I lost my Clive, guys. I thank you for your gracious welcome. I am Clive. Though, beyond that, I feel my introduction may be lacking. Why don't you say your last name? Did you forget your last name? Please, contain yourself. Not with propriety. Propriety. Proprieties. It is your memory loss we are here to address. I am told Garuda's name awakened some previous recollection. Yes. In the instant I've heard it, a hazy vision of battle rose unbidden. I think perhaps if I could hear more of Garuda. Garuda. A wish easily granted. Hmm. Upside down cow, upside down cow. Garuda is a deity revered by the Exal, a people who once dwelled here in the Twelfth Wood. She appears as a winged entity, half bird, half woman. Who commands the wind itself. Most frightening, however, is a capricious temper, as unpredictable as a howling storm. Excuse me. I should add that Lee has fought against Garuda in her primal incarnation. Yeah, I beat her ass. Several times, in fact. Cause I need to get the horse. A winged human, a filed 
volatile temperament with the power over the wind. A fitting description of the opponent I remember. But a deity? No. The will behind the monster's visage was distinctly mortal. Hmm. Oh, uh, Yoshi P's back. <laughs> he couldn't help but insert him into this entire event. I think, I think it's kind of funny. I suspect that Clive's Garuda and Aorzea's Prime are not one and the same, of course. And how would you know that, mi wandering minstrel? Hmm? Suspicious uh, uh, knowledge, I would say. Mainly as Clive himself was not of our world. Explain yourself, minstrel! <laughs> I went back to where we discovered Clive and questioned folk in all the nearby settlements. Settlements. No, no, not one person recognized its, its description. Mm, is that enough evidence? Such a distinctive tattoo escaping the notice of every local rumor monger for moms around? Improbable, to say the least. That led me to consider another possibility. One consistent with past accounts I have heard of visitors from, another, from other worlds somehow stumbling through reality's curtain and finding their way to our star. Oh my gosh, it's falling apart. Uh, my accent. My brand. It's the mark of the bear. Does it pain you? Does it pain you to remember? I feel the memories trying to surface, but when I strain to recall, a piercing ringing fills my ears. Garuda, bear, Ifrit. Another primal's name. It would seem the pain has a less than tangible source. Long have I studied the healing arts, yet I sense no shadow of illness in your body. Your suffering stems not from injury nor sickness. Victims of terrible events have been known to suppress their own memories out of instinct. One subconscious denies attempts to confront an awful truth. The mind bearing a shield of pain to protect the heart. <laughs> The bear of my own making. The barrier of my own making. How then am I to overcome it? Without raid, of course! <laughs> yes, Yoshi P. Fate has brought us together, and together we shall triumph over this adversity. I wonder how much longer this is. So, you think me from another world? I mean, yeah, you don't know what airships are, dude. And my memories of said world are not unlike- are not like to return unless I acknowledge some terrible truth. A truth my mind refuses to remember. What, was there a revelation? Tis a confounding dilemma, I agree. And have given thought to a solution. I believe that the shackles which bind your mind may yet be struck off in the heat of battle. Yes, like everything in Final Fantasy XIV. A drastic measure, perhaps. Especially when not at your best. He has a sword, indeed, though. Which is why I turn to you, Lee. You are the, you are the twin to Clive's wandering star. Your involvement is no accident. The path I see to, is thick with thorns, but if you're the will to walk it, then gird your gird, then gird yourself to, for war and await me at Al Al Ap Ap Kal Ap Kalu Falls. Ap Kalu Falls. Again, a word I've never said out loud, but read several times throughout playing Final Fantasy XIV. All right, see ya. Oh, is this it? Is this it? This is the last one? 
Minstrel has a plan, it seems, but he shares little beyond confusing metaphor. He shares little beyond confusing metaphor. Yep, that's Yoshi P. Still, I'm willing to indulge him if it means making progress. We'll meet him at the Apkalu Falls, right? Uh, and where is that to be found? And we're there. Good. Not too far then. Let's get on to it. Oh shit. I've been doing the accents. Okay. Alright, alright. <clears throat> this place. Why here? Be oh yeah, this is Yoshi P. Um, because the waterfalls. Oh, ew. <laughs> is where the legendary Archon, Louis Swa, gathered a band of ad adventurers in the time of the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Their purpose, to extinguish the infernal Ifrit. Ifrit! Oh, 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 my head, oh my god, no! I know something is there, I just... Why can't I remember? Oh, oh, we're hearing soaking tracks from Final Fantasy 16 again. Clive recalled several words in the Elder Seed Seer's presence, words which brought him pain. While the significance of Bear eludes me, you and I are more than familiar with Efreet. BGM 100? BGM 100? Oh shit, this is a variant of uh, the, 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 the Phoenix uh, fight battle, blah, the main theme of Final Fantasy XVI. Considering your reaction to the mere mention of the name, it is likely that the primal, or its equivalent in your world, is deeply connected to your condition. Aw oh, yeah, I love that. Yeah! We love that. We love soaking over here in this channel. And they get to double dip with this, with this uh, event. Thus, have I resolved to weave my lyrical magics and bring you face to face with the Ifrit of our world. Oh, he's gonna do that thing. Here, where Archon Louis Fall paved an ethereal path to the Primal's lair, will my words be given substance, and within that vision which takes form will you do battle with a phantom of your mind's creation. It's like Persona. <laughs> Imaginary though this confrontation may be, I fear your suffering will be all too real. Yet, you must persevere, for your hidden truth will not be unearthed without hardship. Take heart, Scarlet Star, and call upon the strength of your shining twin! Your path awaits! <laughs> Away! Oh, oh, it's duty time? Wow. I'm like, oh shit, I'm here too. <laughs> Where has he sent us? You stand in the bowl of embers, the site where the Almalja summoned their patron deity and the stage upon which the warrior of light became a slayer of gods. My accent is falling apart. Don't look at me. <laughs> Tis but a convincing illusion. The body of recounted tale given birth, breath by fanciful verse. Yeah. Come forth, Lord of the Inferno. Yeah, that's my, that's my Ifrit. Where's yours? I bet I believe in you. <laughs> yes, I can do it. I can do it. I can keep up Ben Starr's uh, voice acting. An inaccurate facsimile, yet not quite the ifrit you know. No. No. Not quite the same. Uh-oh. 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 Chat. What's going on, chat? There he is! 
Hey, that. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> wait, wait, sc screenshot. I forgot. I do screenshots on this game all the time. Dang it, I missed that one. That one's a pretty good one. <clears throat> Rip. <laughs> Oh my god, my head! Oh my god, I'm Clive! Oh, my head hurts! <laughs> uh -huh. Ready when you're... It's time to uncover the truth. Yeah, that's a persona line right there. It's time to uncover the truth, Clive! Alright. Time to find out who I am. Why is he so sad? <laughs> Rip. There it is, chat. That's the music. There you go. Screenshot right there. Is this find the flame? I forgot. Ifrit. Sad boy climb. <laughs> yeah. Does he remember how to fight? That's the thing which killed Joshua! <laughs> Yes! I have been on its trail, seeking vengeance for my brother! <laughs> oh, so he doesn't know about Joshua yet! Alright, now I know where we're at in the timeline of Final Fantasy XVI. Clive is, Clive is edge boy indeed. <laughs> this fiend must pay! Fight with me, Lee! Okay! We're fighting! Screenshot! During this battle, you will gain access to special duty as follows. Oh, Using rising flames to charge the foe and inflict high damage. Uh, with proper timing, you can dodge to avoid taking damage. Oh shit! Did they put, like, Final Fantasy 16 battle mechanics in here? Even if you're within the area of attack. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and then you got two, one, okay. Certain attacks, enemy attacks will be preceded with the icon when this, when this countdown... Progresses the dodge icon quickly use the dodge action. All right, that's gonna be tough. Like do I have to click that? It's probably gonna be telegraphed It's not gonna be as devil may cry as Final Fantasy 16, but you know This is tab targeting. We, we'll do what we can As successful dodge your change precision strike which provides an opportunity to inflict additional damage During the Final Fantasy 15 um, collab they also in implemented uh, mechanics from that game, too. All right, here we go. All right, Clive, we're fighting. All right, I'm pulling, I'm pulling. Uh, rising flames, and this is a dodge. Oh my god, this music! <laughs> it's so good. It's tickling my the, the fun part of my brain right now, chat. Why can't I open? Oh, I'm, t I'm, I'm uh, level synced. All uh, right, fine. I'm pulling, I'm pulling. I'm dodging, I'm dodging. Yeah! I did it! And then I do this thing right here. Present a strike. Okay, I kind of get it, I kind of get it. Oh, snap! Two precision strikes, let's go. Wait, why does, okay, hold on. I, I'm, I'm tank, I need to have aggro. Yeah! Get him, Clive! You know how to dodge attacks, right, Clive? <laughs> oh, I'm out of there, I'm out of there. Nice. I'll be real, it looks better in, uh, <laughs> in Final Fantasy 16, but this is still really cool. Watch out. Clive, get out of there! Oh my gosh, he's throwing. He's th Clive is throwing the battle right now. Ah, uh, such a <laughs> fun fight here. Right? All right, all right, hold on, hold on. I'm dodging, I'm dodging. Precision strike, and then I'm going back in. Yeah, let's go. We're gaming, we're gaming. All 
Alright. Get out of there, Clive! Get over here, get over here. I'm trying to pull him out of the edge. I did the thing, I did the thing. I'm doing the thing back. Alright, there you go. Precision strike. I have a little window right here. Now, if only that could be our freaks. <laughs> Maybe a mount? That would be nice. You miss, bitch. Oh, I can dodge that. Oh, that was actually really cool. I didn't realize it was going to be that far of a dodge. His flames grow hotter. Watch yourself. Uh, I can still get him here. <laughs> uh, oh shit. I Oh no, oh no, I'm precision dodging. Yes! Wait, I didn't expect that to work. There you go. Oh no, he can't move. Uh, how, how does this work? Shit, 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 shit. Uh, do I heal him? Do I- Lee, buy me some time. Okay. Defend Clive while he frees himself. Oh, okay, okay. Hell yeah, this is awesome. <laughs> this won't hold me! You can dodge everything. Nice. Yeah, step back. Efreet. Oh wait, hold on. I haven't been using the other one. What's Rising Flames? Oh shit! Oh dang, I didn't realize I had another move. That was cool. I actually want to fight alongside Clive. I'm not... I don't need to tank behind him. Oh, nice! Oh no, I forgot to dodge that one! Because of this event. Oh yeah, that's true! Oh, okay, okay. Wait, is this... Oh, shit! Okay, that was that was staged, that was uh, scripted, guys. That wasn't me, I didn't mess that up. Oh, shit! Lee! I'm... Hell yeah, me and Clive are like brothers now. He's a ho he's a homie now. Still in still in the fight. Yes, I'm still in the fight. Go in with the strike. There you go. Uh oh, is, is it nails time? Clive, do you know how to do nails? Okay, no, I'm getting- I'm getting my ass handed. Uh... Come on, one steel alone. Okay, he's gonna do something dramatic. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, he's doing his ulti. Alright, I got one, I got one. I'm trying to keep the... the keep it all cinematic. Dodging. Oh, that was sick! All right, we got all the nails. On your guard, he means to unleash hell. Ow, ow, shit, ow, shit. Okay, I'm, I'm using my, uh, my rampart. Still with me, Lee. Let's finish this. All right, let's get him. Let's get him. Dodging. Going in with the rising flames too. All right. If only they gave us a 90 version on this fight, that'd be so fun. Yeah, my, my, uh. <laughs> My rotation is in shambles right now. Don't watch. Don't watch chat. I'm, I'm, I'm way better than this. I'm a pro Final Fantasy 14 player. Dodging. Oh, I got it. All right. Nice. It procced. It procced. I'm going to drop a uh, fight or flight. And then I'm going to dodge again. Let's get him, Clive. All right, that worked, that worked. Woo! I blamed another to spare myself the guilt. I feared that by accepting it, I would lose what little had was left of me. But I accept the truth of it now. 
I am thou. Thou art I. You are not Ifrit. I am. Oh. Oh. Oh, so good. Juice. Dude, this event. Those are. Get out. <laughs> his ass <laughs> oh my gosh this is pure fan uh, fan service right here I haven't done the event yet just resubbed oh dang there you gotta catch up don't worry you won't miss anything <sighs> but you you get to, you get to see my best Ben star impression right here right here when he talks again Oh, this is not him, though. In the battle against your own mind, to it seem you have endured something intriguing. This event is amazing. I'm so happy to do it after playing 16, right? Torgo! Yeah, I love 16. I would have done a, 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 video, a video review of it. Torgo! Hell yeah! <laughs> pupper indeed. We can never have enough pupper mounts in Final Fantasy XIV. That's a that is a fact. That is canon. Hey, we're back. That was a good fight. I liked it. I need 16 to come out so I can buy it and not play it unless I wish to melt my PC. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Can never have enough cat or dog mounts. We need to flesh out that, that mount roulette, you know? The illusion is unraveled, yet you brought a friend back with you. Arf! Okay, here, here it goes. <clears throat> this is Torgal. A wolf pup raised in the duchy. There is no more loyal ally in battle. And no keener guide when the road ahead is uncertain. Okay, that was bad. They have the cute skink pet. That's true. Aye, that would explain the aberration and lingering aether. Torgal is here to lead you back to your own world. Really? Clive has embraced his harrowing past, and in doing so, claim, reclaimed the memories we, he lost. Though not a conscious act, he has manifested his readiness to return home in the form of a trusted companion. He sticks out a little bit in this game, because he looks so it looks like too good. <clears throat> Even so, it was difficult to accept what I've done. My favorite content is Iron Sanctuary. <laughs> Yeah, it's a chill content. My younger brother, Joshua, was a kind and gifted soul. The, the inheritor of the Phoenix Flames, he was destined to become Archduke, by our, as our father had before him. But Joshua was murdered. His bright future cut short. All right, so this was before he realized it. But that doesn't make any sense because his outfit is after the fact wait hold on no okay actually wait this this might still make sense this still this might still make sense he did change clothes but he didn't realize that clive that uh joshua was still alive from that day onward i lived for one purpose alone the a dominant of fire had slain my brother and i would have my revenge i spent years tracking the killer until one day i came to understand it had been me all along Oh my gosh! <laughs> I was young and distraught when I first summoned my feet. I hadn't known such power lurked within me, or that it could even exist at all. The transformation was instinctive, uncontrolled, and it was by my hand that Joshua died. Oh really? You think he's dead? I can't but imagine the anguish this has caused you. 
There was anguish, yes, and a guilt I will never escape. But I cannot let I cannot let it stop me. I was born a vessel for Ifrit's power, and I need to know why. It was in search of answers that I went to Phoenix Gate and delved into the ruins below. There I found courage to face my past and accept the truth. And then everything faded to black. Oh! Oh, wait! Okay, okay, I I'm starting to remember. I remember this part in the story. Wow, do you think that when they made Final Fantasy 16, they planted that scene just so they can have it be a callback for this event? Because that's forward thinking for the for the Yoshi P uh, team, you know? Hmm, your tale suggests that something in the ruins, some mysterious force was responsible for your inadvertent journey. And if you arrived in Eorzea from a place sacred to the Phoenix and its flames, then it stands to reason. Yes? What are you thinking? Mm-hmm. I'm thinking that to see you home, then we must return to the beginning. Our road takes us back to the burning wall. Once there, your furry comrade will lead us exactly where we need to go. Ruff! All right, bye Torgal. Torgal, let's say hi to Torgal. Torgal's ears are pricked up, his senses focus on his surrounds. Well, you know what we can do? We pet Torgal. There you go. Very good doggy. All right, hold on. Let's talk to let's talk to Clive. Such an incredible sight. I was in no state of a, to appreciate these crystals the first time. True. This is this this did come from the Umbral Calamity though, where a lot of people died. So it's not, it's kind of a bittersweet, you know. <laughs> Let's talk to Yoshi P one more time. We've come this far. Now Torgal will be your guide. Such was the purpose of his creation, after all. All right, ready, Torgal? Take me home. Bark. Once you choose to depart, Clive and the Wandering Minstrel will accompany you. Torgal will then begin leading you onwards. Okay. We're just, we're just following him? Alright. This is a Final Fantasy party right here. The Warrior of Light, Clive, Yoshi P, and the dog. <laughs> Let's talk to Torgal real quick. Bark! I sense the end of this extraordinary tale is at hand. All right, here we go. I'm gonna hit my vape real quick. Oh, screenshot time. Is this it, boy? Yes. The tale ends where it began. Where you, where you first found me. Indeed. And there he goes, more Final Fantasy 16 tracks. I was baffled as to why this, of all places, would serve as a junction between our two worlds, but now I think I understand. You do? Some years ago, Eorzea was visited by a cataclysmic disaster known as the Seventh Umbral Calamity. Even as fire and ruin threatened all we held dear, the world underwent a mystical renewal. Twas if the star was reborn. One theory attributes the miracle to a benevolent entity, claiming that the undying phoenix flared into being, into being to save us in our hour, our, in our hour of direst, of direst needs. Oh my gosh, I can't read right now. The phoenix. The burning wall is itself is a scar left by those events, its crystal ridges having erupted from the earth overnight. Some be some believe these monoliths of solidified flame to be proof of the phoenix de phoenix's deliverance. The bond with your brother, the phoenix of your world, may have yet been the connection which brought you to this sacred place and ours. 
drawn to the flame. All right, go back to that uh, temple that you went to. Rough. It seems our time together is at an end. Thank you both for all you've done. May you, may your journeys be fair. That's such a boring ass answer. Press on, friend, no matter how daunting the hardship or bitter the truth. Uh, so Clive is now my best friend. It's canon. He's best friends with the Warrior of Light now. Uh, always. No matter what fate awaits our journey at journey's end. Come, Toggle. We have answers to seek, and Valisthea awaits. Bye-bye. See you in Final Fantasy 16. Imagine it's like, oh, he went the wrong way. Now he's going to Final Fantasy 17. And then he was gone. I feel the stirrings of a ballad. But nay, it would be hubris to imagine I could capture Clive's story from so fleeting an excerpt. <laughs> That honor belongs to someone else, someone privileged to see his tale to its conclusion. Sadly, the power to peer into other worlds has not, was not granted to me by this day's miracles. Is this the, is this the, uh, the screenshot that everyone was talking about where, where Yoshi P stares at you and says, go buy Final Fantasy 16? I wonder, however, if you might manage it, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> yep. Go buy my game. All right. I need to use the restroom so bad. So I'm going to be right back. Let's wrap up. I, I think this is it, right? Um. All right, let's go. A little adventure is over. Set in motion as it was by a dream most cryptic. Must thank you for indulging my sudden and strange request. Yes, Yoshi P. As for your promised reward, I hope this is sufficient. I'll take cash money, please. Torgal proved such a trustworthy guy that I thought to bind his likeness to a summoning whistle. Ouch, that sounds bad. <laughs> Thank you for giving us Doggy. May his loyal spirit serve you well on your travels. Until we meet again. Thanks, Shoshi P. I will certainly buy a Final Fantasy 16 and enjoy it. <laughs> da da. You can now exchange MGP for special items by speaking with the Gold Saucer attendant. Oh wait, I found the flame. Nice. That's that's a perfect achievement name. There he is. <gasps> Come out, little boy. Look at him! Look at him! Here. Hand over. Oh, look! I'm feeding little Torgal! Where is he? There he is. <gasps> Let's go! Can he do anything special? Yes! Oh my gosh! I would pay money for that. Luckily, we don't have to. <laughs> look at him! Look how happy he is! He's a good boy. That's a good boy right there. And Torgo can fly now. 